Now, shifting gears, an emerging debate in Korea lately has been lowering the voting age from the current 19 years to 18. Public opinion as well as the political realm remains divided. Now, with some countries seeking to move the voting age back up to as old as 21 and others pushing down to 18, what is the best opinion or option for Korea? Our Kim Hye Sung hit the streets of Seoul to gauge how 18 year olds in this country feel about that possibility. Koreans under age 18 are legally allowed to get a driver's license, get married, and enter the civil service. But when it comes to voting, that's a no. And with some Korean political parties moving to change that, some high school students are also showing an interest, or they're at least debating the idea. I support lowering the voting age to 18. When you look at voting demographics, conservative older voters outnumber young voters. I think younger people like us should have better representation, especially on issues like history textbooks and education-related policies. I disagree. We're already busy studying for the college entrance exam, and we aren't completely informed about politics. If 18-year-olds could vote, we would most likely be influenced by our parents' political views and not necessarily form our own ideas. Adults say we don't know much about politics, but that's not true. Look at the candle that rallies. We are politically aware. I think our voices need to be heard. Currently, almost all countries in the OECD allow 18-year-olds to vote, Korea being an exception, and Austria has granted the franchise to 16-year-olds. In 2015, Japan lowered the voting age from 20 to 18 to better represent young people in its rapidly aging society. Though students appear relatively eager for a change, opinion among teachers is mixed. A recent poll by the Good Teacher Movement of over 800 teachers showed that around 62 percent support lowering the voting age to 18. And experts say the decision should be made with caution. Without a doubt, Korea's democracy has matured in the last several decades, as you can see from the recent candlelight vigils. And lowering the voting age to 18 is a move in the right direction, but it should be taken from a long-term perspective. There needs to be more systematic education about voting and democracy to prepare the students. According to the National Election Commission, lowering the voting age would increase the number of people eligible to vote this year by over 600,000, a 1.5% increase in the size of the electorate. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.